Patrick Kane could end it here. He's done it eight times before. My goodness. That's it. Probably about 15 stick handles in front of Nicholas Backstrom. And at the last minute, the poise, the patience to get the puck back to the forehand and put it in the wide open net. As Panarin has it back for Chicago, sends it back in front. Patrick Kane with time. Wait, but head shot. Patrick Kane has done it again to his hometown team. And that's his 20th goal of the year. He's hit that mark in every one of his 10 NHL seasons. Unbelievable. You give him that kind of time and that kind of space. What a pass and play from Panarin, who finds Kane. You've got to go to him. You just can't give Kane that much of an opportunity to do whatever he wants. And here, he does whatever he wants. I don't care what goaltender it is. He has that kind of time and space around the net. It's going in. Now Patrick Kane carries it in. Weaves in the middle with a spin around the center. Hosa, what a goal! A spin around setup from Patrick Kane, and Hosa finished it. We're tied. Speed to the outside for Patrick Kane. He works himself into the middle of the ice. Everybody watching Patrick Kane working on Tony Ludman. Look at Kane's head up. He sees where Hosa is to the left. He throws it to an area. And Big Haas has a wide open net. And Richards has it now for Chicago, three on two with Kane and Versteeg. In comes Patrick Kane, walks in, spins, plays it across, Versteeg scores! Chris Versteeg with a broken stick, fires it home. And with 5.08 to go in the third period, Chicago is within two. And what a pass coming up. 360 spin a Ramba all the way over to the other side to Versteeg, who's been put back on that line. How about this play and pass from Patrick Kane? How do you beat that? Penestroza, Penestroza, back to Kane, shoots! Big shot block right in front of Montoya. That's the help he's looking for. Kane dancing in, Kane scores! What a go by Patrick Kane! He's magic! And all is that magic. There's that little play by Taves. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's just special. <laughs> what a play by Kane. In front, Kane, a Robin check to the back, and he tried to shot. Oh, and he's in the box win. Box win, Patrick Kane. Elliot was arguing about it, but this was a good goal call on the ice, and Patrick Kane has kept his team season alive. So Kane does it again, the fifth overtime playoff goal of his incredible career. Well, Patrick Kane with an incredible move right in front of Brian Elliott. It looked like he was going to shoot the puck, but he avoided two St. Louis Blues players. Kane, Spinorama scores! Patrick Kane! Oh, dear. An artful, exotic spinorama and backhander that stunned Bachman on the short side. One on one against Young Dillon, shuts it down, spins it around, shades of Denny Savard as that one clicks in off the pipe. Kane to the other end, looking for help from the Brinkett. Kane to spinorama, he scores! Oh, roll the highlight film! Patrick Kane with a spectacular Savoie Fair spinorama! The lead cut in half. Just when you think a great opportunity has maybe given up, Patrick Kane stumbles. Watch 88 on the left side of your screen. He'll stumble, gets his balance back, regroups, freezes Pesci, one of the best defensemen in the NHL, and absolutely fools James Reimer with that backhand all in one motion, the Savardian spinorama. And as he's finishing the spin, he puts a little spin on the puck, that backhand just inside the blocker between the body of Reimer and the unbelievable Patrick Kane has given this team some life. Deep look from center right. Lays it all on the board to bounce it out in front of Brigala. Loop puck here for Kane. He scores! Patrick Kane! What hands! He ends it! And Chicago is headed to the Western Conference Final. He gets tied up and then Patrick Kane goes forehand, backhand and beats Ilya Brzgalov. 
Just a crazy carom from the shoot-in from Brent Seabrook. Watch right here. Regan and Suter get tied up, and here comes Patrick Kane. A little forehand, backhand, right inside the net, and it comes right out as quick as it went in. And Patrick Kane does it again in overtime, and the Blackhawks move on to the Western Conference Final. Hawks playing on the far side, and Sharp rolls it across now for Kane. Kane across the line, crisscrosses. Takes the drop pass, carries it through the backhand shot. He scores! Patrick Kane is only he can do. You're kidding me. He didn't just do this. Patrick Kane on the backhand from such a bad angle, controls the puck, keeps it, and scores from there. The only place you can score on a goaltender from that bad an angle, no matter how big they are, is that tarp corner right underneath the bar, and he hits all of the bars. I think it goes off the post, off the crossbar, off of everything, but it's in the back of the net. Incredible skill on the backhand by Kane. Here's another chance for Chicago. Net at the score! They give Kane a chance with an empty net, and it's 2 nothing. Chicago. He was challenged right away, and Regeer had to play it. Did get it up on the glass. Had the double back to high and find a big go center score! Kane was wide open. And he scored 3-2, Chicago, 3.52 left. Here comes Chicago, 2-on-1, and the pass, score! Third goal of the game for Patrick Kane. Kane ends it for Chicago to roar. Campbell holds the puck into the line. Turns, won't shoot. Kane, watched by Kimo Timonen. To the net, it's yeah. over. Patrick Kane has scored the goal. The Chicago Blackhawks long drought is over. For the first time since 1961, the Chicago Blackhawks have won the Stanley Cup. The only guy who saw it was that man, Patrick Kane.